Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's finally 2021 and it's my first video of the year, so Happy New Year! In today's video, we are talking about something that most of you will definitely have in your household. Cling film! In one year alone, a staggering 1.2 billion metres of cling film is purchased. That's roughly 740,000 miles. That's enough cling film to wrap around the world 30 times. 30. And don't forget, that's every year. Cling film is made of something called nurdles. Nurdles. Nurdles? Funny word. Anyway, these little terrors make up every sheet of cling film there is, and just about every single plastic item there is everywhere. Nurdles are tiny plastic pellets that unfortunately find their way into our oceans on a mammoth scale. When cling film breaks down and degrades, we end up with billions and billions of microscopic nurdles which float around in our seas. They pollute our waterways and poison our marine wildlife when mistaken for food. If you want to learn more about this, you can go over and watch my plastic pollution video. You can make a difference by giving cling film the boot and replacing it with beeswax wraps. Beeswax wraps are made from natural ingredients and can be reusable and when they come to the end of their life in about a year or so, you can put them in the compost heap. You can buy them from the shop or why not make your own and if you want to find out how, stay tuned because I'm going to show you. They're really easy to make and it's great fun too. For this activity, you will need natural cotton fabric, an old tray lined with parchment, 100 grams of beeswax, 70 grams of pine resin, but this one is not essential, a teaspoon of Jehovah oil, a glass bowl, a pan, a brush, and if you have any, pink and shears. First of all, we're going to pour some water in, turn on the heat to put it to a simmer, pop the bowl on top, and put the pine resin in. <laughs> this can take a while to melt, so while we're waiting, let's sort our fabric out. I'm going to cut the fabric a little bit smaller than the tray, and, use, and to use, by using the pinking shears, it stops the fabric from fraying. Now that that's started to melt, we're going to add the Jehovah oil and the beeswax. Now our mixture is nicely melted, we're going to leave it on a low temperature and with the fabric on the tray, we're going to take our brush and gently spread it on evenly. So you can either transfer it onto a drying rack or if yours is a little patchy like this, then you can put it in the oven for five minutes on a low temperature. Once they're dry, they're all ready to use. So here's an example. I'm going to take the cat in and using the warmth of our hands, we're just going to pop it on like so. And done. These beauties will keep us away from cling film for a long time. And also, we pour the leftover mixture into moulds so we can melt these down to make more in the future or give them to friends so they can make their own. There you go, now you know how to make them. Go have some fun creating your own. And feel free to post some pictures in the comments below because I would love to see the designs that you've made. Thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Don't forget to subscribe. See you next time, Eco Warriors.